Have you ever wanted to work less but make more money? Every entrepreneur dreams of it, but very few ever achieve it. Well, I built a system that helped me go from working 12 hours a day and making no progress in my business to working around six hours a day and making $20,000 a month. And it's the exact productivity system I help entrepreneurs implement at selfmastery.co to help them make more money whilst working less. So in this video, I'm going to show you what this game-changing system is and how to use it to explode both your productivity and business. So let me show you how a best-selling offer changed his productivity forever and made millions in the process using this same technique. Before he became a best-selling offer, he was an entrepreneur running a supplement company. And eventually he found himself overwhelmed, working 12 plus hours a day, seven days a week, trying to handle all aspects of his business. And despite the long hours, his company was stagnating and he was burned out. Now, frustrated with his lack of progress, he decided to take a drastic approach to rethink how he worked and viewed productivity. He realized that a small percentage of his clients were responsible for the majority of his revenue, whilst a large portion of his time was being consumed by low-value tasks and troublesome clients. That was when it clicked that productivity isn't about working more and cramming your day full of work just so that you can shout about how busy you are but that instead it's actually about getting the right things done to a high quality and in an efficient way, or in other words, moving towards your goals as effectively as possible. But how can you use this yourself? Well, let me show you. The best way is to reverse engineer your goals down into one to three daily tasks. When it comes to being productive, these are your focal points. These are your priority for each day and are the only tasks that matter. A question I ask myself to help with this is simply what's essential that I do each day to achieve my goal. For example, when I'm working with my clients at selfmastery.co, their goals are always around growing their business. So when they ask themselves, what do I need to do each day to help me grow my business to X dollars a month, they always come up with three essential tasks. Generate traffic, whether that's through ads, content or outreach, close clients, normally through sales calls, and fulfill clients, either through coaching calls or direct client work. And for bigger companies, these tasks are often around building or managing the teams to do these tasks or improving the systems for doing them. And that's why you always need to focus on what moves the needle. But just knowing what these tasks are isn't enough to be more productive and blow up your business. Because if you don't use this second part of the system, you'll never actually execute those tasks efficiently or effectively. And this method is exactly what allowed one of my clients to sign a mega deal and get shit done whilst traveling across the world. So let me show you what it is and how to use it. Imagine you sat down in a restaurant, took a look at the menu and it had your favorite meal, a big 16 ounce rib buy steak. Of course, when the waiter comes over, you order your appetizer, your main course and your dessert. Now you're looking forward to all three parts of your meal, but the highlight is definitely that ribeye. You just can't wait to devour it. But then the waiter brings out some bread rolls that you didn't order, but hey, screw it, you'll eat them anyway. Then comes along your starter and you eat it in a rush, excited for your main course. But instead of bringing out your steak, your waiter brings out some more bread rolls. You eat them, but you're starting to feel sort of full. Luckily, you see the waiter coming down with your next plate, only they've messed up and brought down your dessert instead. You say screw it, it's not a big deal, and you eat it anyway. Finally, that big steak is sat down right in front of you. Only you realize you're far too full to even touch it. Well, this is exactly what happens when you structure your days and weeks in the wrong way. That main course is your most important task that you put off. Those bread rolls are distractions and your dessert is a task that doesn't need done at all, but it's so easy that you do it anyway. So let me show you how to structure your days and weeks the right way so you can actually do the tasks that matter and be mega productive. To start every Sunday, sit down and plan your week, noting down your most important tasks and need done in each day, as well as any deadlines you have and then planning any calls, appointments or anything else that's already set in stone. And then every night, take five minutes to write down everything you need to do the next day. And here's the crucial part. Write everything down in order of priority, starting with the tasks and move the needle. Then go on to plan every hour of your day, assigning each task to an hour and scheduling your highest priority tasks first. This way, you're way more likely to do them and you don't have to worry about life throwing something in the way which messes up your schedule and stops you from actually doing the tasks that matter. You also get to start your day in a win by doing your most important tasks first. Next, move on to scheduling your other tasks such as habits and then your general life tasks. 
This way of planning your day lets you get all your priority tasks done whilst also making time for everything else you have to do in life. And because you schedule every task to a certain hour, you're much more likely to do it than if you don't have a schedule and you wing your day where you tell yourself, oh, uh, I'll just do that later. By doing your most important task first, you're much more likely to do it than if you do it later in the day. It's that simple. A great general rule of thumb for life is whatever your biggest priority is, do it first. You want to make sure that you have room for your main course, and to do that, you can't be eating a ton of bread rolls and dessert before your steak. But remember, productivity isn't just about doing the right tasks, it's about executing them to as high a quality as possible and in the most efficient way you can. And if you don't use part three of the system, you can have the best plan in the world, but you'll struggle to stick with it and you'll never grow your business the way you want to. So let me show you the productivity secret founded by a professor at Georgetown University that changed the world. Now, back a few years ago, this professor was responsible not only for teaching and administrative duties, but also for publishing high quality research, which required intense concentration over long periods of time. Something that was becoming increasingly difficult in the world, thanks to meaningless tasks such as answering emails and attending unnecessary meetings, as well as a constant connection through smartphones and social media platforms, which was fragmenting attention spans and making it harder for people to engage in focused, meaningful work that actually moved the needle. This led him to question whether being constantly on and reactive was actually productive or beneficial in any meaningful way. He realized that you can plan all you want and schedule your days till your heart is content, but if you're constantly splitting your focus, you'll never do anything worthwhile. After exploring the world of cognitive science, he learned that as humans, our brains aren't wired to handle constant tasks, switching and diluted focus, which led him to creating a concept that facilitated flow, a hyperproductive, deep focused mental state that allows you to produce your best work and get more done in less time. He called it deep work. Now I know you've likely heard of deep work before, but don't click off just yet because most entrepreneurs likely you aren't actually doing it. So let me show you a foolproof way to guarantee you can enter flow and actually do deep work so that you can blow up your productivity and your business. Now answer this, do you actually sit down with zero distractions and focus on one task or do you just pretend you do? because that's most people and look at the results that most people get. So if you want different results, you need to do different things. This is what every single elite entrepreneur realizes that when it's time to work, it's time to work. So what you have to do is two things, okay? One, when it's time to do your important tasks, do them in a state of deep work. Two, create a focus ritual. This will guarantee that you can actually enter flow and to create this focus ritual, just do this. Download an app called Opal, Use it to block every app on your phone at set times each day and align those times with when you schedule your important tasks. Get a cup of coffee and some water. Sit down in a room for 60 to 120 minutes with only one task to do. Close every tab and browser on your laptop except for the one you're using for work. Put your phone in a drawer and work. That is it, okay? Yes, it is simple, surprisingly simple, I know, but I can guarantee you that if you're worried about being productive, you're not doing this, okay? So just do it, okay? Follow those six steps and do your important tasks in a state of deep work. But there's still a problem here. You need the work you do to be streamlined and done to a consistent standard to truly be productive and grow your business. So let me show you how to do that using part four of the system. And it's the exact same method Leicester City used in 2016 to win the Premier League as complete underdogs, which for you Americans, it's hard to explain how insane this actually was. It's like trying to guess what day the earth might end. You would never have guessed it. You see, in 2015, Leicester City had just narrowly avoided relegation and expectations for the new season were low with most pundits predicting another relegation battle and the odds of them winning the league being at 5,000 to one. Yes, 5,000 to one. Now in the Premier League, many of the top teams tried to dominate possession in order to win games, but when a new manager took over Leicester City, he completely overhauled the team's tactics, rewriting their playbook and implemented a direct counter-attacking style that led to high quality plays consistently in every game. Now, despite the odds being 5,000 to one, yes, I'm going to say it again, 5,000 to one. At the start of the season, Leicester City won the Premier League title, shocking the entire football world. They beat teams with significantly larger budgets, higher profile players, all by creating a playbook that allowed them to play at a streamlined high level consistently. But how can you use this to explode your productivity and your business? Well, let me show you. You need to create a playbook for your own business. Only your playbook isn't about tactics and counter-attacking plays. 
Your playbook is the systems of your business. Now, systems can vary depending on the task, but to make a system, you have to start with what's known as an SOP, a standard operating procedure, which involves you pretty much just writing out every step of the task. So what you want to do is list out every task you do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis, and create your systems for these tasks. This way, when it comes to actually doing them, you can just follow the system, streamlining the process and maintaining a consistent standard of work. And even if your systems are simple, like SOPs, you remove decisions because you don't have to think about what steps to follow and you create leverage, saving you time whilst maintaining and even increasing quality and making you more productive. It also makes progress so much easier as you can choose to change a specific step or a specific task to see how that impacts your business results. Systems are how you take your business from fighting relegation to winning championships. And that brings us to part five of the system, which solves one of the biggest problems every entrepreneur faces. And if you don't solve this, it doesn't matter what else you do. You will destroy your productivity and in turn your business. You see, as an entrepreneur, you're quite literally the captain of a ship. Only that ship isn't some wooden vessel crafted to sail the seven seas. It's your business. And imagine if you, as the captain, kept drifting off track and getting lost. You would add days, weeks, or even months to your journey, and the chances of you running out of supplies like food and water would get crushed. The chances of you making it to where you want to go would drop by the day. Business is no different. As an entrepreneur, there are always so many new and different opportunities coming your way, whether it's a new business model or a new marketing strategy. And every time you say yes to something new, you reset your progress, moving you back a few steps from your goal. And so if you really want to be productive and grow your business, you need to learn to say no a lot, like all the time, like more than you ever think you would have to say no. You have to say no a lot. The word no needs to be your best friend because that is actually how you focus. You focus by saying no, whether it's to distractions when you're working on a specific task or business models when you're building the business you have. The more you say no, the more likely you are to succeed because instead of moving two steps forward and four steps back, you just keep moving two steps forward and you don't change course. If you look at the most successful entrepreneurs, you will notice this. This is something they've all mastered. They stick with one thing and say no to everything else. Plus on the micro level, there's only so much that you can get done each day. After all, you're only awake for what, 16 hours a day. And with it being easy to say yes to everything, you can end up cognitively overloaded and with not enough time or energy to meet your commitments and actually do what matters for your business. And the only way around this is to actually start saying no, which, you know, it's not as easy as it sounds, okay? It's not as easy, especially if you're a people pleaser due to some, you know, deep psychological issue from your childhood or something, not to get too deep, but it isn't always easy to say no. It's not as easy as it sounds. Luckily, you can use this simple framework to help you judge what you should say yes to. So just simply ask yourself, does this help me achieve my goals? Does this distract me from my goals? Do I want to do it? How does this affect my other commitments? This way you can figure out if an opportunity is really an opportunity or if it's just another distraction. Now, the thing is a lot of productivity is determined by your energy levels. If you're low energy, there's not a chance you'll be able to perform at your best and be productive. And if you want to maximize your energy levels, you need to optimize your sleep. So watch this video here and I'll show you exactly how to do that.